It's from Buckingham Palace, um, and it says this, that His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh has been admitted to the London Clinic for an exploratory operation following abdominal investigations. He is expected to stay in hospital for up to two weeks, and that is about it. However, there is a little bit more information coming through. Uh, we do know uh, for sure that the uh, Duke is due to, or at least scheduled to undergo this operation tomorrow. There is always a chance that that might change, but as it stands, uh, the operation itself takes place tomorrow. It's also scheduled to take place under general anaesthetic, which is always a concern for anybody undergoing an operation. Um, undergoing an operation like this, which uh, appears to be pretty invasive at the age of 92, uh, presents further potential complications because of his age. Um, at the moment, uh, we have been talking about the, the, the build-up to the point at which this statement came out. And we know that in recent days, the Duke of Edinburgh hasn't been feeling too well. Mm -hmm. it, it, it transpires that that was, in fact, quite separate to what is happening right now in terms of how he was feeling. It appears he was genuinely feeling a little under the weather. Now, the reason is this. It's my understanding that uh, the tests that the Duke of Edinburgh underwent, uh, I'm told, in recent days, affected him and affected his voice to the extent where he pretty much, albeit temporarily, lost his voice. And so uh, what I understand is that he felt it uh, unable to attend some of those engagements simply because he couldn't speak to anybody. And that would have presented uh, awkwardness, uh, complications in itself. And so I think uh, he must have felt uh, that it, was, it, would, it would be better, really, if he didn't attend those uh, engagements prior to the 60th anniversary service held at uh, Westminster Abbey. The Queen, naturally, I understand, uh, is concerned and is being kept fully informed. When the Duke of Edinburgh has been in hospital before, and it has been in the past 18 months or so, uh, I think it numbers three times, three occasions for different reasons, um, he has had visitors. So I think we potentially, over the next couple of weeks, can expect visitors to go to see him. I wouldn't expect them initially, especially if there is to be um, an operation tomorrow, that will take a number of hours, one assumes. Mm -hmm. Then there will be a period of recovery, which may take, you know, uh, se several days be before he's properly able to come round and yes. be compus mentis. And so fact, it, might, it might be his birthday, which is what Monday, before he will be able or allowed by doctors to receive visitors anyway. It's possible, and we don't know exactly when, and or even who will come to visit. Um, but that is a possibility. Um, the London Clinic is the hospital, is the location for this kind of surgery. So he is in very good hands. Professor John Cunningham, uh, his head surgeon, will be on hand uh, at the time to make sure everything uh, is going s smoothly. Um, but I'm told the Duke is in himself, and we saw that today at Buckingham Palace, Martin, when he was well, alongside the Queen, right here now, in his morning suit, um, alongside the Queen, looking pretty perky. And I've spoken to people who've been there today uh, who said he looked absolutely well, absolutely yeah. comfortable. <laughs> Can but we just... it seems that just shortly after that, that was when uh, he made his way or was almost certainly taken to hospital uh, and at that stage this procedure. was put out.